All right, this is a video. I went lithium ion batteries, three 100 amp hour batteries, and I had to upgrade the converter. I had eight 955, so I got went to eight 955 AD uh, from Wifeco. Thought that that the, was the best way to go and uh, upgrade the converter to charge the lithium ion batteries. Right now, what I'm doing, I'm holding the contacts at the converter itself, the two main terminals, and I have 13.11 volts right here. Now the batteries are down and they're looking they're they're showing they're about 30 percent charge so this is a test to see how this charger will do and recharge those batteries because uh, i have found that they're not really lithium ion uh, ready these uh, wifeco 898d chargers because you're going to see what 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 happens when i do turn the charger the converter on and put it on AC and you're going to see uh, what kind of voltage I get going into the batteries and I, it'll be disappointing to say the least all right this is a charge uh, monitor battery 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 monitor and it's Renology recommended by William Prowse and if you want to know anything about solar or lithium or anything like this, about these, these type of setups, William Prowse is the man. He's the guru. But I'm showing 13.0 volts right here. I have 0.54 amp draw on the batteries right now. And really don't have anything off, except for I have some motion detector lights that are probably... Uh, drawing that uh, half half an amp, so we got so we got a, a loss of 0.11 volts right here in the main salon. It's a this is a 1943 RB Coachman Northern Spirit, so it's only a 23 foot camper. All right, now I'm at the battery box that I have the three. Uh, 100 amp lithium batteries enclosed in and I have some uh, terminals out here on the outside and I'm showing 13.15 volts right here at the batteries coming off the batteries so I'm lo losing four hundredths of a uh, A voltage drop between the batteries and the converter, 400s. And when I talk to uh, Wifeco people who are very good about responding and talking to you, um, they said the problem is is that I'm losing too much voltage through the length of wires. Well, again, it's only a 20 foot, basically the the uh, from the batteries to the converter. So I'm losing 400s of a a volt so it's obviously not the reason why this converter acts like it does and doesn't charge properly I sh should be looking at when we go back now we're going to turn the converter on and I should be looking at 14.5 14.6 volts of charge on these batteries and you're going to see that this Wifeco 89 AD is basically a trickle charger for your batteries. It's not a quick charge. If you want to go boondocking and you want to do those types of things and you want to quickly recharge on your generator then the next morning in a few hours or a couple hours or whatever, uh, you're, you're not going to have you're not going to have the voltage necessary to really recharge those batteries the way you want it when you're in those uh, situations that you're boondocking and want to quickly charge. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the circuit breaker on for the converter and then I'll turn around and I'll go the few feet back to uh, the Renology monitor and we're going to see what kind of charge we got 
on these batteries. All right, there goes the converter on. The flashing means that it's charging the batteries. And right now we're getting 13.4 volts, 23.24, close to 25 amps going in. But that voltage should be like 14.5, 14.6 volts going into those batteries. But I'm not getting that. That's not the proper way to quickly charge your lithium ion batteries when they're discharged like this. So when I talked to Wifeco, they said, well, you got to trick it. They just said it's because of the distance and the wires and everything like that. And like I said, I showed you that there's not, there's a tenth of a voltage loss because of the wires to the battery. So that's not it. They said, well, you got to put, put the inverter on and put a heavy load on the inverter and then it'll go up and it'll show you that 14.5, 14.6 volts of charge. But this is not the proper way, I don't think, you know, to uh, get those batteries quickly charged. If I was in a situation that I was boondocking and I wanted to charge, recharge the batteries in a quick amount of time with the generator, it ain't going to happen. Now we're going to check with this tomorrow. I'm going to leave the converter on all night and we're going to see what kind of charge I get with this converter this 8955 AD so it's only been about 15 minutes on the converter and you're seeing already the amperage to start to drop 23.4 we had it close to 25 when we initially turned on the converter. Uh, we're showing 13.5 volts uh, going in, which, again, um, this is not the type of charger you want for lithium-ion batteries. And when I talked to, I bought these batteries at light time, and when I told them what was going on, after 24 hours of charge, I can only get, with this type of charging going into them, I can only get those uh, batteries to about 75% of charge. And uh, they said that when they wanted the specifications of the battery charger, the converter, I gave them to them and they came back and they said, that's that profile does not fit my ba our batteries. And they recommended like this $500 or $600 uh, charger. By the way, if you want to buy a uh, transfer to lithium ion, I highly recommended those lie time batteries. You know, they were a great price. It was like uh, a 379 a 100 amp battery, and they got a five year uh, lifetime, uh, five year uh, warranty. Uh, and um, the batteries seem to be doing great. But I'm not happy with the fact that I'm only getting 75% of that, um, you know, uh, 300 amp hours uh, charge of those batteries. I'm only getting about 75% with this lithium, this uh, Wi-Fi um, charger. And if I go to the uh, charger, or the converter, and everything. It is in the lithium ion mode, the little blue lamp that's supposed to be lit in there. Um, it is showing that it's uh, showing the lithium ion charge profile, but it's not the right unit for doing this. Uh, and I don't re recommend that. I, w I wish I wouldn't have upgraded to that battery. The problem is, is most of every, all these campers have the Wifeco uh, chargers. And uh, when you go ahead and go with their conversion for lithium ion and you get that, uh, it's not satisfactory as far as I'm concerned. Uh, cool. I welcome any comments and I appreciate you viewing. Thanks.